You know, we ought to recognize the inability of the law. What the law cannot do. Verse 3. For what the law could not do. See, it's impossible for the law to change human behavior. Did you get that? It's impossible for the law to change human behavior. What the law is, it's like a mirror. The law is something we look at, and it reveals our condition. So if you look in the mirror, and you see that you have a dirty face, the law has shown you that, but that mirror cannot clean your face for you. It will show you that you have a dirty face, but you yourself have to clean the face, not the mirror. So the law cannot change human behavior. It defines us or defines our, our behavior. It may describe our punishment, but it doesn't change us. See, I can memorize the Ten Commandments. I can memorize the Sermon on the Mount. I can memorize every red word in the Bible. But it will not change my behavior simply by knowing it. I might have a lot of good stuff up here. But it doesn't change my behavior. Knowing the law is not enough. We have to understand the ability of the Lord. For what the law could not do, and that it was weak through the flesh, God did by sending His own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh on account of sin. So what the law could not do, God did. He sent His Son to assume our very liability, human flesh, to take on the flesh that, that pulls us down. 